safety is a top priority for parents and teachers this year. In fact, parents' concerns for their kids' safety is at the highest point it's been in more than 20 years when it comes to safety in school. That's according to a new survey conducted nearly three months after the shooting in Uvalde, Texas. A gunman made his way into the Texas elementary school, shooting and killing 19 students and two teachers. The Gallup survey reveals that more than 40 percent of parents with a child in grade school fear for their child's physical safety at school. Those fears were realized at Heritage High School in Newport News last year. Almost one year ago, student Jakari Taylor hit a gun in his backpack and brought it to school. He got into a fight with another student, pulled out his gun and started shooting. The bullets hit two students. The now 16 year old is serving a 10 year prison sentence. Would walk through metal detectors have prevented the student from getting a gun into the school? As I reveal in this News 3 investigation, some local districts are stepping up their game to keep weapons out of their buildings. Hey, good morning. Come on in, guys. One at a time, though. One at a time. As kids come through the doors of Tarrant Middle School in Hampton. Cell phone, Chromebook on the table, okay? They pass through these new weapons detection systems. Good. Put all that stuff on the table and then go through with your bag, all right? The devices are designed to spot guns and knives. Green means good. Good job, good job, good job, good job. And red signals the need for a closer look. Yep. Could be that binder. Thank you, appreciate it. Hampton City Schools launched the walkthrough weapons detection systems at all the high schools last year and this year. Every morning before you all come in, just make sure you take your Chromebook out for you. They've expanded them to middle schools like this one, where it puts the principal at ease. It's like one less thing you have to, to think about. Absolutely. Before we can teach kids, they have to, number one, know that they're safe. The devices are also making their debut at Hampton's pre-K through eight schools and the Kilgore Gifted Center. Do you have to review stuff from Spanish one to refresh? Oh yeah, but we do that in class. Oh, okay. That's where Jaden Ellis goes to school. He and his mom say the new system brings them peace of mind, even though its title reminds them of how dangerous the world can be. To hear the term weapons detector, it makes the reality that these are the times we're living in. If it's an extra layer of precaution and safety, I'm good with it. I feel safer in some ways. We do everything that we can to make sure that our kids are safe. James Bailey is the school security supervisor for Hampton City Schools. This former Hampton police officer leads the mission to keep students in the city safe. The kids are used to seeing these because these are at amusement parks, athletic events, concerts. Right. Um, I've seen them uh, up in uh, some of the museums up in Washington, D.C. This is the same units that Bush Gardens uses throughout the country. Hampton City Schools plans to expand the devices to its elementary schools in the future, but Bailey believes they add to their arsenal of school security measures that have been in place for years, like security cameras, school resource offices, Officers, visitor screening systems and anonymous tip lines. Do you feel like this is less ominous looking than the traditional metal detectors Correct. that I may have grown up with or that you may have grown up with? Right, and that's, that's what we're looking at too as well. We, again, we, we focus on having a safe and nurturing environment. We do not want our schools to lo look like a, a, a prison coming in. News 3 learned the Portsmouth Public School District tested out those weapons detection systems here at Manor High School last year. They hope to expand them to other high schools and middle schools in the district by the end of the year. We also learned Norfolk and Suffolk Public Schools are having conversations about bringing the systems to their districts. If I have to go to the airport and go to the amusement parks and they're doing this, um, I just trust that it's working, at least mitigating some some harm from happening. While every district doesn't have these newer weapons detection systems, News 3 investigates learned every division in the seven cities does have access to the old school handheld and walk through metal detectors. Back at Tarrant Middle School. You all do that in about 10 or 15 minutes. And you're talking about at least probably two, 300 yeah. kids easily, so that's good. The system didn't sift out any threats while we visited. Teachers, students, and parents pray they will never have to. It's one of the top priorities, uh, making sure that he goes to school and that he gets home safely. So hopefully we don't find anything. We want kids to make good choices. Now, leaders from each district in the seven cities said they also have a number of additional security measures like new security cameras and a visitor scanning system in Norfolk Public Schools, additional school security officers on the way in Virginia Beach, and drug and munitions dogs in Newport News. 
I'm not done digging into school security measures. Tomorrow morning after 6 a.m. here on News 3, I'm shining a light on the status of school resource officers across the seven cities.